Hey Capricorn. All right, you guys, it's gonna be for anyone that has Capricorn in their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind, it's a general love reading and it will not resonate with every single Capricorn out there. All right, Capricorn, real quick, my love readings are $10 off until August 7th at midnight. If you wanna take advantage of that, um, flash sale. The information is in the description box below on how to book me, okay? All right, um, if you're new here, um, first reading is going to be for the ones that are taken or loosely involved. And the second reading is going to be for the singles. And we're doing past, present, and future for both. All right. So taken and loosely involved Capricorns, you have the Hand of Cards card coming out here. All right. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, and gambling. Okay. Um, and it's definitely coming out in the read. All right. So the past, you have the Queen of Swords. All right. It could be you or your person. Current energy is the Seven of Swords, that being strategic energy. And in the near future, you have the Temperance card, okay? So you could definitely be dealing with an air sign or a Sagittarius. You also have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So someone in here is definitely trying to be strategic, okay? <laughs> someone definitely trying to use, um, trying to, okay, someone has a decision to make, I feel. And it's definitely giving head over heart kind of decision. This could be you or your person, to be honest, okay? If it feels like your person, to be honest. All right, clarify this Queen of Swords for Capricorn for the ones that's loosely involved or um, taken. Clarify this Queen of Swords. I don't know what they're having to think so clearly for. Okay, fine. as soon as I'm about to say that I'm kind of confused on why someone's doing this, Queen of Swords and the Five of Cups. I still don't know who this is, to be honest with you. It could be, it could literally go for anybody that's watching. It could be you or your person. But I'm getting here that somebody is acting this way because they still are attached to um some disappointments from their past okay or something is not going the way that somebody's wanting them to wanting the connection to go in this connection nine of swords is here too someone is trying to refrain from acting hastily like they did in the past and i keep getting past energy this could be because someone's trying to prevent something from happening again um like repeating the past someone's afraid of repeating the past okay whether it had to do with you or someone from their past okay um this actually could be you for some of you okay in the past i'm also seeing that somebody acting this way or acting very cold or kind of emotionally detached is making somebody else sad in the connection making somebody else feel like okay this shit is hopeless all right tell me a little more about the past this could be a scorpio that you're dealing with or any water sign i'm seeing sag air and water tell me more about the past what is what's causing somebody to be upset or tell me more about the five of cups six of coins um, somebody is definitely wanting an equal give and take connection. And I feel like somebody's, someone isn't healed the way that they're supposed to, to be able to give that to you, or you're not healed all the way to give that to this person. Okay. Could be an earth sign. Yeah. Look, see, six. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Somebody may have a choice to make because why? Yeah. The king and queen of swords with the random queen of cups. There may be a couple here. There's actually maybe a third party situation. Capricorn, this may be a third party situation. Someone actually, it may be upset because someone is giving to more than one person. Yeah, I'm seeing that someone here may be playing games. Someone actually could be married, like full on married because you have the five of coins here too. I mean, 10 of coins at the bottom of the five of swords. Someone actually could be married, okay? This is a side story I'm getting. That's actually, that's part, actually starting to be the main story. You have two queens here and a king and two of them match. That's a couple here. It's very possible someone could be getting divorced. Um, uh, okay, but then the Seven of Swords is here in the current energy. I think somebody, I don't know who you are. I don't know which, I don't know who you would be. I don't know if you're the one. What does Capricorn stand in this connection? I'm, I'm not understanding. The Fool. Do I have to tell you what I thought intuitively? Why do I feel like you're the third party, Capricorn? Some of you may be the one acting foolish, all right, and be, be, needing to be the one to make the decision, all right, about who you want. I see somebody dating around in the recent past. That actually may be pissing somebody off um, at the same time making, some, making them sad, making them disappointed, okay? If you know there's not more than one person in the story, um, if you know it's just you and your person, that I'm just seeing that somebody is lacking 
giving back to the person that they're with. Okay, is what it's, is what it's kind of seeing. Okay, what I'm kind of seeing. All right, that's making somebody upset. All right, clarify the seven of swords in the current energy. Five of wands. Somebody, somebody is creating drama, and someone's also trying to avoid it. Eight of coins. Tell me more about the five of swords and the, and the seven of swords and five of wands. Strength. Why am I getting bold with the strength card? Like out of instinct, someone's trying to avoid drama or conflict here. Someone's trying to remain strong uh, through the process. Whatever the fuck is going on between between two of you or three of you. What the hell, Capricorn? What's going on in the current energy? Tell me more. I'm seeing Leo here and Aquarius. Page of Cups. How does Capricorn feel about the situation? Two of Cups. Like, this, just y'all two. Like, you two have a mutual connection. Like, you two are dating. You two are on the same page. Whether it's true or not, that's how you're thinking. That's how you feel. <sighs> okay. If it's just... Okay, two storylines again. If it's just you and your person. Like you're saying, like, how, that's how you feel. If it's just you and your person... Then I'm seeing that someone's trying to be strategic um, in a, I don't know, someone's trying to figure out how to tell you that they like you. This may be a newer person, maybe a newish person. All right. Someone may be trying to figure out how to tell you how they like that they like you. Okay. Someone's trying to be bold and courageous, um, trying to avoid being conflicted about the situation and, and uh, avoid being conflicted about their feelings um, is what it's looking like. This person may be very det um, detached towards you or you could be doing this to them. Vice versa, it don't matter. Um, I'm seeing somebody here who may be trying to avoid their feelings or avoid avoid drama or conflict is also what I'm seeing. That's possible, but I'm definitely seeing someone here who may be trying to find a way, trying to find a smart way to be bold and tell you how they feel about you. If there's more than one person here, then it's definitely somebody here that's being really delusional about there only being two of you and someone trying to avoid conflict in that way too, Okay. Let's find the temperance in the near future. I'm seeing balance, peace, and harmony coming up. Yeah, second chances, an opportunity. Uh, this could be a water sign. Chariot, I'm seeing Cancer and Scorpio with the judgment. I'm seeing forward movement and peace and a new opportunity. All right, I'm, I'm seeing somebody getting a bit of a wake-up call and moving forward. Okay, this is okay. what does this mean for Capricorn and their person in the near future? What does this mean for Capricorn and their person? A commitment. A commitment. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. I don't know where the fuck that's coming from, but I see you two um, getting things right, getting things back together. All right. I'm seeing a new opportunity. Um, you two are going to move forward in a better light is what it's looking like. Some of you, if you live with this person, especially if you live with this person, I'm seeing there being a happy home. Some of you, if you don't live with this person, you may end up living with this person. You may actually end up marrying this person. The four of wands can definitely signify marriage. Um, I see you celebrating with them. Celebrating moving forward. Um, major arcana cards here. Temperance, um, judgment, and the chariots. All right. I'm seeing forward. Like, I'm seeing someone being determined to make things work between the two of you. Okay. Both of you actually doing this. Okay. If it's, again, if it's just y'all two, then, you know, don't take the other storyline. Just take the, you know, the regular one. I'm just seeing you two working it out. If there is somebody here who is with somebody else and you are the side person, that person will leave that person, all right, um, and make peace with you and offer and ask for a second chance. Um, I see you taking it and moving forward and having a happy connection, all right? Separation, like I said, somebody here may have been another connection. Someone separating from that individual to be with you. That is facts. Okay, that is facts, and I see it happening. All right, I see you three. I see you two, three. I see you two working it out. The time apart from your partner is on the horizon, and express your love. I don't know if you're being told. I feel like no. I feel like this person is about to express their love to you. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That's what I was talking about in the current energy. So some this person is gonna actually eventually tell you how they feel because I know it was hidden before. All right, I, I see this person wanting to celebrate things with you and wanting to be with you. Okay. So just, if there's three people involved, just be careful that that person isn't still lingering because I only see a separation, okay? Um, for some of you, if it's just the two of you, the separation card can mean that there may be um, some time, there may be a time away from this person so that they can figure things out and figure out how to move forward with you if it's just the two of you, all right? They're trying to, they're trying to find out the best way strategically on how to move forward with you in general, all right? Two different storylines. I hope that wasn't confusing for y'all, <laughs> all right? Singles. 
All right, Spirit, what's the overall energy and love for the single Capricorns? How y'all doing? This video is pre-recorded, by the way, so you did not miss a live. Okay, this one came out upright, so I'm going to take this one. It's, it says, boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, on, uh, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Some of you, there could be a long-distance connection on the way, or there already is one. This one came out, too, but it's, it, it, it fell like that, so I will take it. But it does say stabbed in the back, so just in case, I'm going to keep that in mind. All right. But some of you on the, um, the flip side may also be moving on from someone um, currently. So maybe somebody here may have closure issues, okay? Um, just in general, for some of you, it's specifically just long distance, okay? What happened in the past in love for Capricorn? For my singles, what happened in the past in love, spirit? The Nine of Swords, closure issues, moving on, um, problems on moving on. What's going on in the current energy? Oh, no, you're not. You're, you're better now. All right, what's coming up in the near future in love for my single Capri Capricorn's healing? Gaining patience, okay? Being patient with yourself, two of wands, choosing a new direction, planning, okay? Some of you may be waiting on a new thing, okay? Some of you could have been dealing with an air sign um, or a fire sign. Specifically, I'm saying Aries and Sag, all right? All right, let's see. Could I find the Nine of Swords? Why have a Nine of Swords here? Some of you could have been having sleepless nights. Knight of Swords? Uh, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Tell me about that. Some of you could definitely have been dealing with a Gemini or any air sign. Tell me about the past. Page of Swords. What's up with the the court cards? Some of you, some, okay, I just got a flash in my head. This is a very specific message. But some of you may have been stressed out because you keep the fact that they moved on quicker than you did, okay? And they may have stressed you out. Um, you may have felt like, damn, they moved on quick. Because the Knight of Swords looks like somebody running from you, all right? So that may have made you feel some kind of, kind of way. And maybe, uh, I don't know if you were watching them or they were watching you. I feel like you were watching them. And that's why you were stressed out. You were stuck in your head about something. Uh, you were curious about what they had going on um, beside you or, um, you know, after you or whatever the case may be. Um, is what I'm seeing too. I feel like. I feel like some of y'all kept tabs on them in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you peeped something you didn't like, all right? Um, I don't know if they went with someone else. Tell me more about, yeah, Eight of Cups. I feel like you felt like, damn, they moved on kind of quickly. Or you felt like you were forced to run away from this person that may have stressed you out because you didn't want to leave. I'm getting that too. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords before I keep going. You're getting air signs. Enlightenment. I see you, you, you found something out. You peeped something that you didn't like, something that stressed you out even more uh, after a breakup, which may, may have delayed your um, healing process, may have delayed your growth, may have delayed your moving on process. All right. Um, I feel like you may have stopped doing that because your current energy is a fool. So I feel like you're about to jump off a cliff. Be careful not to jump into risky ass situations. I don't see you healing um, before this. So clarify, hold on, tell me about the fool and the current energy. The um, Oh, shit. Some of y'all might jump into something and get pregnant with some random person. That's a very specific message. Some of y'all want a new person so bad, and I feel like it's only to get, oh, get over someone from your past. All right? You're trying to change your... It's like you're trying to change your love life status to prove something. Like, you're trying to change your love life uh, around to show them, like, okay, like you're not the only one that can move on. Tell me more about the current energy. I'm saying Taurus and Libra. Some of y'all might have jumped right into the arms of somebody, baby mama, baby daddy, trying to prove something. Somebody, some of y'all took a big ass leap of faith towards somewhere, somewhere or something else. All right, to probably put to, to try to get your mind off of this, cause see y'all like mentally stressed out in the past about this individual. Tell me about the current energy. Three of Wands. Some of y'all are trying to move on too fast, way too fast. Because I see somebody trying, I'm seeing you seeing a future with somebody already. And it doesn't, it, something, something about it doesn't feel healthy. I don't know why. It feels like you're going too fast. King of Swords, the Star, the Queen of Swords. Um, hmm. Okay, tell me more about this em Empress. Damn. The Moon. Five of coins. I think you're starting to act reckless. So just be careful about that. Um, 
jumping in i feel like you're about to jump into a situation um where you may not know somebody as much as you think it, they don't it doesn't seem bad though it doesn't seem like they're bad it just feels like you're jumping um some of y'all maybe jump into conclusions for all I know. Some of y'all jumping into something new or trying to have a new beginning somewhere. Are they, okay, is am I, my single Capricorns that resonate with this? Are they ready for a new beginning? Are they ready for a new beginning? Um, okay, yeah, y'all might be. Temperance and the will of, okay. Spirit saying y'all ready. Excuse me. All right, so I'm looking at the new, I'm looking at the current energy a lot differently now. Yeah, it looks like y'all been focused on yourself. Okay. Okay, it looks like y'all have been working on your finances. It looks like you've been working on yourself. Okay, so things are turning around for you. I think, okay, I guess it is time to move on. I think it is time to, uh, well, obviously not time to move on. But that's what you should have been doing. But I feel like it is time. Some of you may be trying to, um, I see a new person. You might see a future with a new person already, a newer individual. This could, per this could be someone who has children. Um... Tell me about the temperance card, because now I'm curious about the near future. Six of coins. I see you being an equal give and take connection here. Some of you are just giving to yourself and healing yourself. Some of you are doing this self-love thing. A lot of you, okay. This empress, is this a person or is this Capricorn? Is this a person or is this themselves? I think this is you. Some of you, it may not be a new person, Capricorn. This may be you taking a leap of faith to start... Waiting on the next person to treat you better. Um, I see some of y'all thinking ahead of time. Thinking ahead like, okay. Be, I see you being a lot more optimistic about your love life or about yourself. I see you taking a lot of care for yourself. All right. Um, and in the near future, I see you healing. Okay. I see you I see you becoming a lot more balanced. I see your money growing. Some of you, I'm seeing your money. I see you saving money now. And then I see um, some more abundance financially coming towards you soon. Is there a new person coming for Capricorn? I see you taking care of yourself. I don't really see a new person. No shit, new person. That's a person. Page of Wands. All right, a younger fire sign. Clarify the Page of Wands. What's their intentions? Two of Coins. Tell me more. Ace of Wands. This could be a sex based connection. I'm not gonna lie. Six of Swords reverse. They actually might be getting on, getting um, away from something as well. They might be moving on from something. To be honest with you, um, is what I'm kind of getting here. All right, it is possible, or they may be long distance. Six of Swords reverse, they could be long distance. But I do see a younger individual or a very excitable person coming towards you after you heal, okay? So right now, Capricorns, take time for yourself, all right? Take time to hear yourself. Because I do see a new person coming in. They're going to be a lot of fun. They're very exciting, very um, energetic, very interesting, very creative, and like just lovable. They're going to be really nice to you, okay? This could be a sex-based thing. Some of you, they're, they're very busy. I'm seeing them being very busy or you're very busy, okay? Some of you are either gonna have options or they will. Some of you, they're gonna be long distance. I'm getting juggling, I'm not gonna lie to you. Some of you, they may, be start, they may start to juggle you and someone else. They may be having a hard time moving off of someone else. All right, or this is you, okay? Um, but the two of coins and six of swords reverse. This may be someone that is trying to have a fling to basically everything I thought you were about to do. <laughs> they're about to do I feel like some of you they're not going to resonate everybody alright what's the additional message for Capricorn singles true love this is the romance of a lifetime okay some of you this new person might be it eventually but we'll see right now I'll just say flirt with them to see where it goes extend your light hearted energy to others I think it's time for new love for some of y'all okay I'm seeing a new fling alright so have fun with it it could lead into something really serious actually okay you two can get along very well alright is what I'm seeing here. All right. All right, you guys. All I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoy. And if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. All right. And again, my readings, my love, my full love reading is $10 off until August 7th at midnight. If you want to take advantage of that, the link is, the link, the <laughs> information in the description box down below has all the information on how to book. All right. And yeah, if not, I'll talk to you later. Bye.